Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be testing out one of the oldest weapons in the game. Now this weapon we are testing out, you guys know from the thumbnail and the title, is going to be this Uriel's Gift. Now if you played D2 from the start, you've probably tried this weapon out. When it first came out, this was definitely one of the best guns in the game, if not the best. But I thought, why not test it out in 2020 and we'll see sort of how it performs. So today we're running it with the Iosol and the wall cliff now this one that i'm using comes with dynamic sway reduction kill clip so not a bad roll comes with handling to be honest i've had better but i've dismantled them but i thought for today's video why not test it out and sort of see how well it performs with obviously the new 600 rpm so or, or rifle buff now this is only a 450 so we'll see how it does perform but i'm hoping it's going to be good probably won't be as good as what it used to be but we'll test it out and hopefully we can get some good gameplay but if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe drop a like down below let's try and get 50 likes on today's video and like i said yesterday we did make a halo video so if you haven't seen that make sure to check it out and let's jump into some control with this so when we're in the game i'll skip to then right so we're on rusted lands every time i seem to come on d2 this seems to be the only map we ever get but let's see how it goes now i'm gonna be honest i've not really been playing destiny this is the first time i've really touched it since the uh, last word sort of video now this thing stability is okay it's a lot better than when i played obviously on console the stability on this wasn't the greatest but on pc obviously it is a little bit better but as i was saying i haven't really played d2 as much as i should be really and that's just because of like cheaters and i've talked about sort of that in a previous video so if you guys do want to check that out uh, i'll leave it in the end screen but yeah let's test this out and see whether it is a usable ar as you can see ar is going to be good uh, pretty much no matter sort of what you're using it's not as good as a 600 don't get me wrong but it's still better than most weapons i would imagine Now the, this thing with kill clip probably should thread quite well. As you can see, 37 to the head. It's a really nice auto and it's pretty easy to control. So there we go, nice little five. See, this is why I don't miss... Uh... There we go. Guy literally walked into my nade. Thank you. I think he might be lagging a little bit, so we'll leave him. Now at range, it is decent. Like I said, the recoil is a little bit sort of. It's a bit weird. Now this is this laggy guy, so anything can happen here. Like this. Don't know what the fuck's happening. Can't see shit. He's still here. Is he going to die? We've killed him. We're on a 10 here, actually. First game on, we'll take that. We've run out of bullets, though. Which is not good. But yeah, I know you guys like these types of style of videos, like these live commentaries where I play. I've just had my head blown straight off. He's on a ghost of the night, really. Oh, here he is, fucking lagmeister. Shit. Wow. Tried to be cocky with that tether and predict, but just failed. To be honest, it is actually surprising how good this gun is. Didn't think it performed that well. But 37 with kill clip, and I think it's 28 to the head. 
uh, without kill clips, it's still pretty decent. This just proves how overpowered sort of ARs are. No matter what AR you're using, you're gonna do well. Like I said, I've not touched this game in like three or four days. Literally my first game on. And we're pretty much slapping the other team. There we go. It's really easy to headshots as well. On another 10 streak. Let's go. I don't know what that Titan's doing. I think we're dead here, to be honest with you. There, we died. Fighting Lion. Fair enough. At least it weren't a mountain top. But honestly, it's not even that bad of a weapon. Like that there is just if you get this thing with a kill clip like I'm not sure what rolls you can get but trust me this with kill clip holy shit just melts anything is it better than a 600 it's not as good as a 600 obviously but it's still a very underrated weapon and it's still usable in 2020 uh, like I said I've not even got a god roll this with a god roll probably would be uh, one of the best guns in the game Shit, we are tearing everything up at the minute. There we go. To be honest, the sight on this thing as well is really nice. To sort of get like a headshot on that pretty uh, easy. I'm not sure how many kills we're on at the minute. I know it's a pretty high kill game. Yeah, we're not going to challenge that. Let's just wait, regen our health, play it safe. guy does not want to let me get out of here oh good to be honest fighting line I don't mind dying to that because it does take obviously some skill I'm dead here I shouldn't have jumped I don't know how we survived that Go another kill. I'm dead. Has that guy moved? Like he's literally sat up there the whole game, I think, with that vigilance. Might have to get my sniper out and actually kill him in a sec. Like the range on this thing as well, like that is incredible. Let me know if you want me to test out any other weapons as well. Let me know any little underrated weapons you guys think are good. And I'll definitely make a video on them. Because to be honest, I'm running out of ideas, like I've said. So your suggestions do really help. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, I should have died. Put that on top of there. Anyone that jumps up like him free kill pretty much I got greedy I shouldn't have really gone for that kill but we've got away with it teammate saved our arse thank you
This thing's actually kind of cracked, I'm not going to lie. Definitely try this gun out if you haven't already. I'd love to know how many kills we got. Holy shit. It's probably one of the best games I've had in a long time. 150, so we won the game. How many kills did we drop? 54 kill game. We are 9 efficiency. So, is this gun usable in 2020? I think that just proves how good this weapon is. I think we've got two sniper kills. So 52 defeats in one game. First game on. Brilliant. So I'll rate that Uriel's Gift. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. I wouldn't say it's obviously better than a Suros or anything like that, but definitely a gun worth trying. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.